Yeah, I'm Suzanne from tvmake.com. You can see behind me. <laughs> How are you guys doing today? Good, Good. Great. Doing well. How are you? Good. I know you guys have been here a while today. I appreciate you sticking around to talk to me. <laughs> stretching, I, stretching to that. Yeah. Right. <laughs> do you need to use the restroom? Any, anybody need a break? Do, you... <laughs> oh, do it. Do it. All right. Um, yeah. Um, so I watched the movie last night and I really enjoyed it. It's good. It's good. Awesome. Um, and um, starting with Christopher, can you each tell me the journey that brought you to making this film and how you feel about it? Sure. My journey was very quick. I was filming a movie called The Biltmore Christmas for Hallmark at Biltmore House in Asheville, North Carolina. About a week before they started filming, I got a call from producer Ken Carpenter. He said, I've got a I've got a role for you. I said, send me the script. I read it in an hour and a half. I called Ken back and I said, hey, brother, when do you film? And he said, we start the 29th. I wrapped on the 27th. I said, guess what? The timing is uh, couldn't be sort of more perfect. I am available. I'll be there. Uh, in Birmingham, Alabama, the next day. So I wrapped on a Friday, was in Birmingham on Saturday for costume fitting. And it was an immediate, uh, I, I, I like to say that the Holy Spirit had a big hand in this thing because the timing of it was perfect. I said yes on Brock's dad's birthday. Uh, I landed on a Saturday and Brock and I had mind meld and we were talking about the character and agreed on all these different artistic points and then showed up for a nine page scene with Mr. Neil McDonough here who's the king of who's the king of villainy in Hollywood and um was bringing his a game and it was uh the journey began in that instant with a with a with rocket fuel and it lasted exactly 25 days and how many months later where are we today oh gosh we're only like 10, not 10 months later not even 10 months later it's going to be the yeah. quickest from day 1 to make it into the theaters yeah uh, it's yeah sprint. it's fast yeah and i've had such a beautiful journey i got to see this film be tested and screened in different variations and itinerations of it um to see how the story is being made and told is in itself a very cool story uh from this guy and it all started with Brock Heasley our writer creator director yeah. Uh, Neil, do you want to go next? No, no. <laughs> okay. oh, yeah. um, uh, I, I, they originally brought, brought the film to me and originally I, I didn't want to do it because I, you know, after playing so many great villains in my life, I thought this was just too villainous. I, I never <laughs> really played the devil. Uh, and then I spoke to my wife and we went over the script and we talked about it and we prayed on it. And she said, you know, you really should do this because you might be the best villain in Hollywood. You have that great relationship with God and this, you, you kind of owe it to these people who are asking you to do it for a higher reason. You may not know what the reason is, but it, it will answer itself at some point. Mm -hmm. And it answered itself pretty quickly. As soon as I got to set and worked opposite Chris and, you know, Chris brings his a game. Like I bring my a game and with Brock's words and his direction, day one was just a fire fest of intense, amazing, fantastic work. And, I'm so proud of being part of this film that Ravan and I helped produce. And it, it's a film that could only be made through Angel Studios and my wife Ravay right there. Um, and it's <laughs> I'm so blessed to have been part of it. And it's it's a heck of a film. And Brad? Oh man, well, my journey's been a little bit longer than theirs. Uh, I've been working on this film for eight years and uh started with a with a dream and a prayer and not really much else mm -hmm. and uh it's been an incredible incredible thing to see these guys come to it to see all the team that we've had assembled by producer ken carpenter without whom this would not have ever happened uh to see angel studios come around it without whom it never would have happened i mean it pretty much there's been so many key players that have come in and that have lifted this thing out of obscurity really and and brought it because who in the world these days makes a makes a movie that isn't based on a book or a comic or a TV <laughs> show or as a franchise? Right. You know, this is an original story inspired by the Book of Job, which is not something people have been clamoring to make movies about. Um, but Angel Studios caught the vision; these guys caught the vision, and here we are today. And I'm just profoundly grateful for it. Well, Who's I really appreciate it. Oh, so go ahead. No, I was I was gonna do a. There's a guy online who does the he does like a YouTube pitch the pitch, 
<laughs> and I would love to see his version of this. Like, oh, the pitch meetings. The yeah. pitch meetings. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that guy's oh, really? <laughs> no, but it's a bad. And the guy's like, oh, really? I'd really? <laughs> yeah, love to see him. Yeah, it's love the to least see it. uplifting book in the Bible. You'll love it. We're making a movie. <laughs> yeah. That guy who gets yeah. his, his honey huh. whoop every day of his life. <laughs> I, I really appreciate it. I'm not religious at all, but I enjoyed because I grew up with like Superman comics where, you know, everything's black and white, the good guys, the bad guys. And, and all yeah. of this movie is not black and white, obviously. But today it seems like, you know, you don't get many actual heroes. Everybody's bad. And, <laughs> and you know, I grew up on the old cowboy movies and all that stuff. So I really appreciated having an actual hero and an actual villain. And that was great. Uh, absolutely. <laughs> That's and exactly. I think it would make a great TV show, by the way. Is there any chance of that? Oh, um. <laughs> It's it. There's some other ideas percolating in the background. We'll see. We'll see what happens. You know what? I'm, this is the you're going to get the exclusive on this. Angel has a. You're looking at me terrible. You just you're just going to say it. Aren't you? <laughs> Angel has a uh, a special paid forward link. Okay. Angel.com slash share the shift. Is it share the shift or just the shift? Um, I don't know what the link is. Share the shift. Yeah. Oh, oh the shift. Okay. Angel.com slash the shift. You can pay it forward and you unlock a scene. Mm -hmm. And this scene would be the catalyst of the TV show. I mean, let's... If there were to be a TV show made, yes, that scene would be the catalyst. I think you got to put it out there in the universe, bro. <laughs> just... All right. They're telling me I have to leave. So thank you so much. And I hope it's a big success. Thank you, Suzanne. Thank you very thank much. You.